Yeah, like the big beats of Cortana survives this thing that happens at the end of 4, Cortana comes back, Cortana has this new plan that nobody gets quite sure they agree with. That was all there yeah. day one. And even, oh really? Are you sure? Because this piece of concept art would seem to disagree. Checkmate 343. Slightly misleading introductions aside, the aforementioned concept piece does raise an interesting question about Halo 5's story. Before we go any further, special thanks to the nerdy one on our Halo story for posting the original theory. Link in the description if you want to read his thoughts. Anyway, ever since the game came out, people have been wondering whether Halo 5 went through a rewrite late in development a la Destiny. Now before we go any further, let's be clear about a very important fact. Games and media in general go through rewrites a lot during development. Cortana was originally going to go mad with power in Halo CE, Halo 2 was originally going to end with a battle on Earth, Halo 4's campaign was originally going to feature Jewel and Dama in some capacity, Halo 5 was originally going to feature Gabriel Thorne in Buck's role. And these are just some of the rewrites in the Halo games, don't get me started on other franchises or media. Now I'm not commenting on whether these changes were good or bad, I just wanted out there that rewrites, for a variety of reasons, occurred during development. Now let's get back to that concept piece. We have here a UI for the level unconfirmed. Now look closely at that description. The secret of Dr. Halsey is out and the UNSC forces are quickly discovering. Interesting. Now assuming this isn't just some placeholder text, it seems to show that Halsey was going to play a larger role than she ultimately got. Reading into it further, it could be said to imply that Halsey was originally going to play what was ultimately Cortana's role. Now, this alone isn't much to go on, but there is support for this in a key piece of pre-Halo 5 media, Halo Escalation. In issue 23 of the comic series, Halsey manages to separate herself from Jewel, having recently disabled a fucking contender class AI- Sorry, sorry, bad memories. Anyway, she makes contact with the librarian imprint from Requiem, who informs Halsey of a few possible sites to activate so the reclamation can begin. Her first suggestion are the design seeds hidden within 12 moons in an unnamed star system. Sound familiar? Perhaps eerily close to Genesis's description as a creator of seed worlds? The librarian also mentions one of the moons containing warships for expedition and defense. Interestingly, the UI concept has a mission objective that reads, destroy the Forerunner warship and recover the intel chips. Now alternatively, this description could be referring to a guardian, perhaps before 343 settled on the name. Either way, it's really interesting to think about, and how looking at the Spartan Ops storyline, it, along with Halo Escalation, really sets up Halsey as being Halo 5's original antagonist. She wanted revenge against those who hurt her, but as noted in Escalation, she was intent on fulfilling the Librarian's plan. No doubt she would have awoken the Guardians if the Librarian wanted her to. And, just like Cortana did in Halo 5, Halsey would surely have wanted to make sure her Spartans remained safe and lured Blue Team away from the UNSC. She has actually done something similar once before in Halo Ghosts of Onyx. Now I could go on about how much sense Halsey makes as the original antagonist for Halo 5, but I think you get the idea. Now we come back to the question of rewrites. Personally, I think this theory is pretty likely, but with a caveat. We don't know exactly how early in development this UI concept was created. Looking it over, the background image looks to be from Halo 4, which, to me, indicates the concept was from very early in Halo 5's development. However, even with that, it's very likely that any notion of Halsey being the villain was abandoned very early on, much in the same way that Thorne was replaced by Buck early on when Thorne's voice actor was unavailable. There's also tons of concept art from early on with Cortana's upgraded look, which, to me at least, indicates that any sort of switch from Halsey to Cortana happened very early in development. Still, I wish 343 would have stuck with Halsey as the antagonist, it makes so much sense on so many levels and, if nothing else, wouldn't have wasted the Spartan Ops and Halo Escalation storylines. Tweak the final issue of Escalation a bit, replace the domain with the absolute record and boom, there you go. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Check out the original thread on our Halo story, link in the description, along with a direct link to the UI concept and more of Ramiro Galan's work. Apologies if I mispronounced that. Thanks for watching as always and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you.
profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.